immortality, people who never grow old and never die are easy to see these days in advertisements and on the internet. It is a digital human. Many IT-related conglomerates or game-related companies such as Samsung Neon, LG Lea, Neva Esol, Netmarble Xena, and Smilegate Hanue have created digital humans and are actively using them for advertising and publicity. It is said that there are already more than 100 digital human beings active in Korea, so now it seems that you need a digital human encyclopedia to memorize faces and names. Rosie of Sidus, who created a digital human sensation in Korea as a virtual influencer last year, successfully entered the advertising market with the expectation that it can replace real celebrities, but now it is not receiving the same attention as before. This is because it is difficult to realistically reproduce the movements of hair, clothes, and natural human movements with CG, computer graphics, so it is difficult to see them often. This phenomenon occurs because the graphic designer creates each scene by adjusting all environmental variables such as camera, light source, movement, shape, and color. It still requires a lot of manual work, and a long time. A technique to overcome this is neural rendering. It is a method that automatically learns the process of creating scenes from numerous photographic images of real people with a deep neural network. Through this, it is possible to realistically express complex lighting or transparent and thin structures in the real environment, which cannot be sufficiently expressed with the existing CG environment variables. It is possible to create vivid images and videos of new people with just a single sentence, sketch, or photo. It requires a lot of data and a long learning time, and there is still a limit to synthesizing high-resolution images compared to the CG method. Digital humans are sometimes classified as digital double when imitating real people and virtual human when they have their own identity. For example, Digital Double reproduces an old actor who died a long time ago in a virtual space to imitate facial expressions, actions, and tones exactly like the real thing. Rather, a virtual human that speaks, acts, and expresses emotions like a real person is expected to become the future of digital humans. In order to have the same identity as a real person, the same level of interaction with humans must be possible. Artificial intelligence that answers the same question differently depending on the situation is essential, rather than parroting the same answer to a given question or repeating I don't understand repeatedly. For example, Soul Machines, an air company in New Zealand, is said to have developed a digital human that recognizes the voice of the other person and responds by recognizing emotions with a digital brain that mimics the human brain. Blenderbot 3 and Google's Lambda 2, which were recently announced by Meta, formerly Facebook, greatly improved bias and inaccuracy, which were problems with chatbots in the past, so that natural conversations are possible to the point of claiming that they have perception like humans. In addition to this, if technology that understands human expressions and movements and responds naturally is fused, digital humans who look like real people and can communicate will be easily seen in our lives. There may come a day when you come home from work and talk to your own digital human butler about what happened that day while taking a break. Just as a dog becomes a companion, it is possible that another level of affection will arise for the companion digital human. This is the reason why we are looking forward to a world where digital human adjusts the lighting and plays healing music with a single word, today was a very difficult day.